wasn't a week off, but how was the last week then? It's been good. Um, had a couple of days off. Um, got back practicing, even though Thon was in here. Uh, we went to the IM building and had a couple of practices. Uh, really competitive. Uh, everybody is just fired up to be back and ready and just, just, just going. Um, coach definitely uh, had, had a couple of talks with us about it and uh, just ready to make this this, this last couple of games uh, just play our hearts out, play Penn State basketball, get back to the culture that we have of defending and rebounding and and just everything around it. Um, it's definitely been a crazy couple of days walking in here and seeing everybody in different colors and but it's it's been good. It's been a good good couple of days. Everybody's rested now, and everybody definitely been playing a really good basketball during practice. Mentally speaking, how important was that time off? Oh, it's it definitely helps. Um, we couple couple rough games, couple good games here and there, but now it's everybody. We had a couple of days off. Everybody had to get their schoolwork out the way. Uh, we got four really big games for us and now that we have everybody back and practicing again and it's just it just try, we just try to clear our heads while we were while we were away um definitely physically and mentally so uh, i feel like everybody's everybody's getting there again coach said he allowed you guys to run your own practice what was that like how did that go it's competitive uh, we had a, we had a lot of live stuff um we were we were going uh a lot of convert stuff. Um, definitely got a little edgy. I got a little chippy. In um, what sense? People just wanted to win. Like even when the coaches aren't there, I know a lot of a lot of teams would be like, "All right, coach isn't here. Let's let's just go through the motions." But um, the captains definitely put a put together a good practice. Uh, we we competed. We got taped and everything, and it, it was a good one. Uh, definitely one of the. One of the better ones that we've had uh, alone. Do you think that playing your hearts out, you just mentioned that, mm -hmm. do you think that's been a challenge for you guys to do on this team consistently this year? Like, Or do you feel like that's something that you guys do every game? Um, like I said, I mean, I feel sometimes it's here and there, um, but we definitely uh, need to get that more on a consistent basis. Um, like I said, we play, I've said before, uh, we played a lot of good teams and, and they're able to do that. They're able to come out and compete and get what they need to get done. And um, the more I feel like since we had this this little break that um, people were able to collect themselves and uh, people have to step up. People have to be more consistent. People have to be more vocal. Be uh, just on the court, like make their presence felt. And I feel like now that we're now that we have. Uh, everybody's physically and mentally okay. I feel like we're going to be able to get that done. What are some different things maybe that he's done to, to motivate you? Uh, maybe does he try different things with it? And what are some of the things that maybe stand out? That, Personally? Yeah. He, he challenges me. Um, I've been with a lot of coaches, different different styles. I've been with coaches that yell and scream. And uh, at Oak Hill, I was with a coach that never cussed in his life. Um, like. He, he never raised his voice, and coach has just done such a great job challenging me to, like, with the heart and soul uh, of the team. Like, when he brought that upon me and told me, like, this is what you need to do, this is what I expect of you, and I took it on. I tried to, I, I tried to be everywhere. I tried to make up for every little mistake that I, I did, and and just play to exhaustion and. and Coach always says he always points at Peyton uh, during practice because Peyton's face gets so red when he gets tired and he just gives it his all and he's giving everything he's got and he always points at, at, at Peyton and says this is what we need from everyone. I don't care if you if you're in there for two minutes or 22 minutes if, if you're not giving it your all like people people want to play like there's no point in in conserving energy and. I try not to conserve my energy as much as possible. I try to be everywhere. I try to dive on the floor. I try to get deflections, loose ball, rebound. I've been trying to rebound a lot more. And it, coach, he's just he's just doing such a great job with that. And just.
keeping that with me, like keep talking to me, like you're the heart and soul. Just and Coach Ergo definitely helps. He he comes up to me every game and he says it starts with you. Everything starts with you. Your energy, your effort, everything that you do, and it, it, it's it's a collective effort, and it definitely has been helping me uh, stay consistent with that. Do you keep that in the back of your mind going going into every game or even every practice, maybe? I mean, during every game, I just just try to play as hard as I can, play the way I know how to play, and how coach has been helping me and teaching me how to play. And definitely during practice, uh, somebody's got to set the tone. Somebody has to somebody has to bring practice practice to a new level, and um, I definitely try to try to do that every practice. Is that hard to be the heart and soul guy when you maybe have a season that's got ups and downs? I mean, it, are there moments where you go like? You know you gave everything that you had, but you still feel like there was something else that could have been done. I mean, is that a difficult thing personally to kind of go through a season being the guy that like that is doing all of these things that are maybe just sort of anchoring a team? Yeah, it's definitely, definitely, it definitely can get stressful. Um, but it's basketball. You're going to have ups and downs. Teams are going to go on runs. You're going to go on runs. And it's all about how you react to the next player, the next game. And that's... That's just how we take it. Um, with me personally, it's I'm, I'm my biggest critic. Uh, I always feel like I can do more. I always feel like I have more to give, regardless if I'm on the ground, passed out, tired. Like I'm gonna get up and give you my all. But it's stressful. But my my coaches definitely help me through it. Uh, they talk with me. I, I've been meeting with coach a lot more, a lot more frequently. I meet with my assistant coaches, trying to just trying to work on my game, trying to make sure that I can stay at the best level of basketball that I can play.